perfect. Right then, so I don't know whether this is going to be episode 2 or whatever of these cars because we don't know when we started them or when we didn't but this is uh, the next instalment of the BTCC, WTCC away on so we've got some good stuff to look at Shiny bits, so 316 stainless, TIG welded this is one that we made and we jigged a fair bit back. Same with a manifold. It's a V-band. Got our nice billet head flange in. All nice welding. This is uh, really nice. It's a shame to hide them at back end. But it is what it is. And so, see these two turbos here. These are our Mellet Billet 2260 cores. And we put these into BMW housings for the V-band. They're just a bit easier to get to, especially when you plan on changing them out and doing what we're planning on doing. A bit easier at the track. Um, so this, there is this two. One's a spare, but we're also going to run the same turbo exactly on the Mark V golf that we're doing. So we've got, to, we've got to get that engine in to make the manifold and everything like that. One. So we'll go on it. We'll have a look over what Dan's going to get done. And, uh, there we go. Right, Dan's ripping into this. So we're getting the time lapse for it. Engine out of this. We're just going to completely deck the car. Take all the fancy bits off it. Take all the stuff that's worth having. And then put it on Steph truck at SRS. And get it to weigh it. We don't really need to set it off. Paul's busy over there, take the engine out of that as well. Try and get him doing that. So, engines are now, Paul's not messing about. So we're gonna start uncovering more jobs. We've ripped gearbox apart. So when I looked at the plate here, which is what tells you what gearbox code, you can't really see there, but that's an FZQ. I know my O2M m gearboxes. Straight away I said, that's not a diesel one. That's a petrol gearbox. Probably a Leon Cupra Petro, I thought. So we've had a look on the uh, alt specs that we've got, alt gear ratios and stuff. Yeah, all right, it's definitely a petrol gearbox. So then the next step is it might only be the case and it's a petrol one. So we took it to bits, start counting some teeth. 
So we counted six gear, and six gear matches an FZQ gearbox. So the, the ratios an FZQ, so petrol, not ideal. But then we looked, and the final drive ratio looked a bit small as well. So we've gone round, counted this, can't even read how many it is now, can't even remember, 62 teeth on here, and I can't remember how many of these all gone now. That's not an FZQ final drive, so we thought maybe it's got petrol gear ratios, diesel, and a diesel final drive of some description. But this is quite small, like I've said. It's not, it's an even lower petrol one. So this, for definite, is a petrol gearbox. Even lower than a Cooper. So it's way too low for what we want. The differential, the bolts, I don't know what they are, verbus or Vibus, Verbus, I think, 12.9 grade, so they're not what they are, these like weed run. Nice, they look nice though, and then as you can see here, these are the ramps that squash the plates in the plate differential, so we'll, we'll try and put a picture up of what I like our 3J plate differentials work. But this, I believe, is meant to be a Ricardo one, but there's no stamps at all anyway, we'd have to probably strip it down and take it to bits, but... This gearbox is not right, it's no good for what we want, so I'm just going to put it back together, we'll send it back to Nick, and then we're going to have to use this gearbox that we just found in our scrap. We need to take this off, this end casing, take all the bearing races out, and put it on the end of the Cooper gearbox that we've got, so that we've got the correct gearbox side mount on this one to be able to use with that car. So, Go over to the beaker in a minute and we'll see what we can find on that. So, you that? It might, be, it might be recording, it might not be. So, engine's out. Dan just dropped out as a complete shebanger. We're going to take this, like I said earlier, with that in case, you know, because this mount. We've got a bolt going that way on these, so we're going to take that off. We'll have to sort of linkage tower out and all that as well, so that's not a big deal. Um, so we'll get this built. I can't remember what differentials in this one. I thought it would have quit, but it's got a plate diff in one of them 3J ones that we sell. Happy, happy days. Brakes, I think we sold them already, so they're going. Um, I can't remember what shocks these are, the KWs or FKs or whatever they are. These are going to be for sale anyway. Maybe we dance custom mounts if somebody wants them. They get a bit of caster, a bit of uh, adjustment on your camera. They're not the nicest looking of things, they do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get this ripped out, and then when it's when the engine's stripped, Paul can then all the uh, set up spark specific stuff onto this engine. Um, uh, while we've got the car on the ramp and we've killed it. So, took everything off the back. What are we saying, Dan? Another hour and it'll be going to scrap yard. Maybe. Yeah. So. so, back to the Leon engine. And another reason, and another thing that we're not going to reuse, this has got an Elix, which is UK med. Not bad stuff. Um, it's got Elix, five paddle. Clutch, but it's on a normal sort of petrol um, spring setup, which these are noisy. This is why we do a different disc in our cars. And the flywheel is like super thin, super light. That's probably, I bet it's only five or six kilograms. This flywheel, so if chaff it would be annoying. We, we solid the mouse, but well, that's pretty much got probably meant much difference, but still, I like to do usable and not checking the teeth out. Um, one of the other things we've noticed, and it's another one of the unknowns again from this engine, so like I said before, you've got our EGR delete on. It's also got a turbo that it's a bit rusty, but there's still paint on the turbine wheel. You can see there from balancing, still paint mark. And it's a bit hard to see, it's absolutely caked in rubbish, but at this side you can see if Danny can get in some hiding in the corner. It's got a billet wheel in there, so it's an hybrid turbo of some description, but it's never been done. So this 
is unlikely to be the one that came off this engine when it was campaigned at any time. So whether that's been done after or whether, but I think the plan is with this one is seal it back up, put the gearbox back on, and I'll probably just send this all back down to Nick, and uh, I'll let Nick do what he wants to do with it and keep it for the originality of the car or whatever. We're not going to put this one back in, and really no use to us. So we'll just throw the full lump, turbo everything that we've sorted for this one in. So it will be our take on what we would hope that everything we not putting for it. I've had to get my hands mucky. Dan's not done too bad to get everything stripped down. We've got the engine and gearbox. We'll uh, get ripped in. Next video is going to be putting it all back together, hopefully. <laughs>